we'd like to thank the following sponsors. Chris Phillips here with GlassGadget.com. Today we're going to take a look at an installation of a Cambridge series shower enclosure. So I hope you'll find that useful. Are you a member of the Shower Door Professionals group on Facebook? If not, you should check it out. Just search for Shower Door Professionals on Facebook and we hope to see you there. Enjoy. Now here's an old trick that I like to use for finding the center of a curb. I use my combination square. I just make a mark one way, make a mark the other way, and even if it's not exactly in the center, I end up with two lines that are close together and I can just shoot down the center of that. Next I'm going to set up my trusty laser. Once everything's on layout, I'll go ahead and make a mark on each side. So the instructions show that I need to take the height of my enclosure, subtract four and seven eighths, and that's going to be the bottom of my bracket. Once I've got that height, I set my laser up on it, and rather than measure over on the opposite side, I use my laser to get that mark. I like to make a little mark in the center of my bracket. Then I can hold that mark on my center line mark, and I know I've got it right where it needs to be. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, made the same mark on the other bracket, line it up. One of the nice things about this Cambridge series enclosure is that you have so few holes that you have to drill. Here we are again on the other side, same thing. So here it is, stainless steel header. They've welded it together with those, these little stainless steel blocks. And they leave some space on the end where you've got to cut it. They use this uh, little round, I think it's a nylon piece of plastic. It's basically just two Serenity headers welded together. If you've ever done a Serenity series, you know what that's like. All right, so the instructions say cut a half inch off the header from the finish opening width, and that seemed to work just right. This is the stopper. There's one for each side to stop the panels from sliding into the wall. I'm going to start with the inside panel. So I've got the inside facing me. Since this is the inside panel, the rollers are going to go pointing to the outside. Make sense? And I'm just going to put in the two that go on top. And then I'll come back and put the bottom ones on later, of course. I mean, you wouldn't be able to hang it if you had all the rollers on. Once I get the inside panel set on the header, I always roll it a little bit in each direction just to make sure it's actually sitting on the header the way that it's supposed to. And move on to panel number two.
Now both panels are on and we're ready to go to the next step. I like to put on the little sweeps on the bottom of the panels at this point. I like these little tubing cutters for cutting my plastics. They work great. Uh, I just find this is just about the most convenient way for me to do this working by myself. So this is what I do. Slip it on the inside panel. Get the outside panel started into the guide as well. And just kind of decide where the center of that opening should be. If I get the reveal the same at the top and the bottom, I don't really care so much if it's perfectly plumb. Once I figure that out, I'll go ahead and sort of trace around my guide. And now I'm ready to drill those. I'll have to move this panel out of the way. Back on the header. I like to get them set to the highest point to start with. And then it makes it easy just to adjust one side down a little bit if it needs to, to fix the reveal and make it just right. It takes a little bit of practice working with these things to get a real feel for how they operate. As we turn the wheel, glass comes over, making the reveal nice and tight. These are polycarbonate extrusions that are included in the kit. They help keep the water in at each edge where the glass meets the tile and just acts as a bumper. Stop the glass from colliding with the tile. I just snip it right off. Once I have it where I want it, I start to peel the plastic off of the VHB tape. Just part of it, and then slip it back into place. Again, slide the door back over to hold it there, and then start to add a little bit of pressure to get the tape to actually adhere. And I just work it down, peeling and pushing as I go, keeping the glass in place, and it seems to work pretty well. So after these are on, I'll come back and run a bead of RTV silicone along the outside edge just to keep it glued on more permanently.